We now welcome in the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, this is a really good, really good team that you faced tonight, a team that probably is going to be a threat to win a national championship. Um, I, I, are you disappointed? I am sure by the result you're disappointed, but are you disappointed by the effort that you got from your guys? I'm disappointed with everything our guys did today. I didn't think we did anything well. You know, we came out and took they punched us in the mouth early, and we didn't re we didn't really respond. And you know, so and we just had a lot to overcome with all our injuries, losing Joey for the year, uh, and one of our D guys. That's our fourth one of the year, and uh, you know, our young bucks didn't really respond to the pressure. They did a good job. You know, they got some this really good attackmen. You know, they had 16 goals between them, and uh, we didn't stop the knowns, and we kind of gave them some really easy ones, and we just didn't compete. It wasn't a great effort by us. We we competed the first four games of the year, and this was just a total non-compete for us he asked me just to be completely honest and I give York a lot of credit they do a great job moving the ball they play tight they're excited to play and you know I didn't do our, any, our team any favors giving them the early game yesterday against NASA they were pretty, a little more rested than us and us coming off the tough game against Dickinson but it is what it is you know and, and I think Coach Kyles is doing a great job with it and uh, you know we just didn't we just didn't compete tonight yeah, Paul, what's a, what do you do from here how do you keep guys motivated and focused on the task at hand because even though the record is what it is there's still so much opportunity out here still for your team yeah yeah, there's lots to go on. I mean, we just got to work on. It wasn't there are any any positives from today? But you know, we'll talk to the guys and get ready for toss, and we'll play better. We'll play much better on Tuesday. We're going to try to come up with a positive. I thought Justin Bernetti actually had a pretty decent night. Yeah, he, he could have done better. Nobody had a good night for us. Justin <laughs> could have done better in earlier on, and you know he hasn't really played you know as well this year as we like. But we'll get better, and we'll we'll work at him. For the young guys on defense right now that you're asking a, a lot of. You know, there's there's no rest for the weary. But how do you get them up to speed to where they need to be? As you mentioned, with another great opponent coming in Tuesday. Well, they know what they got to do. You know, I think this is tougher for the amount of the young guys and sophomores and freshmen are playing there. You know, it's a, it's a lot for them to handle right now with everything going. So the, and we, we thought we'd be a little more experienced down there, unfortunately. And but you know, they'll get there. I mean, we've got to coach them and practice them. And, and you know, and today just wasn't our day by any means. And give York all the credit. Pete reference Tufts coming up on Tuesday night. Is there any concern about guys hanging their heads at this point? And what do you do just about the sort of the psyche for this team? No, you just got to keep fighting. You know, it means we're 0 and 5. Yeah, I mean your record says what you are, but um, you know I think we we got a lot of games ahead of us against good teams, and you know we got a conference and stuff, and we'll get better, and we'll be there hopefully in the end. And you know, this because things aren't going for us. You know, it's the first time they haven't really gone our way in you know 12 years, and yeah. so you know we'll get there. You know, we're it's just you know we just got to keep grinding it out. It's not it's not the end of the world. It's, it's on will rise tomorrow and uh, we'll get better. Coach, I know it was a tough one, but it was a great weekend for the sport of lacrosse and a great weekend here at Stevenson University in general. Appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, it was a great event. You know, I think that everybody enjoyed it. Good crowds. Everybody's excited. And, uh, you know, that's why it's really good to shine a light in Division Three. Thank all those coaches for coming, all the programs, and a lot of people that make a lot of sacrifices. And Greg Royce and everybody at the school that really supported the event. It's great. You know, it's really a fun thing that go on. And uh, unfortunately, when you lose two, it's not as much fun, especially when you're the host. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's a still a great event. And um, everybody had a lot of fun and uh, that's all about. We'll see you Tuesday, Coach. Thanks a lot.